What's going on everybody today? So I just want to clear one thing up. Um, I don't know where my brain was when I was thinking of this. Yesterday, if you watched the video a little early, um, I had mentioned that we were going to be putting the fuel pressure sensor in the fuel filter delete block. Now, that would mean the pressure sensor would be on the return side of the lift pump, which makes absolutely zero sense and I have no idea where my brain was, but I'm not gonna try and hide that I messed up and uh, was thinking about doing that, which doesn't, I've, <laughs> I honestly don't know. I've never done that with any of my other trucks. I don't know, uh, Fleece does actually make a different block that actually has the, uh, feed going into this uh, and it has a uh, like a regulated return I believe um, it's a distribution block that not only does the return but does the feed so I'm not sure if we were planning on using that um, but basically what that means is I had to order a push lock adapter to basically cut the feed line that goes from the pump to the CP3 You're gonna splice that in that is where the pressure sensor needs to be not on the return side so I apologize for that guys um, the other thing that happened late last night is the water and fuel sensor that does screw into the bottom of that fleece plate. Actually, I pushed it back together, but it's cracked. Uh, this cracked when I was trying to screw it back into this. Um, so unfortunately, no boost truck is going to remain boostless for the time being until I get that piece uh, for the pressure sensor from Garofalo and the uh, water and fuel sensor I also got from him as well. So those are gonna be shipped in probably early next week. We'll get that wrapped up. He's still in Florida anyway. I'm not really that concerned about it. So taking a brief break from wrapping up his truck. Um, actually what I was trying to do, sorry for the long intro here, but I was actually going to try and start running the new fuel lines. If you guys have been around for a while, I told you that we need to run different uh, feed lines for the air dogs uh modify my returns off my sending which actually i can actually do that but i am missing my vibrant braided hose i ordered it three weeks ago and for some reason it must have been on back order from vibrant so uh now i just called got off the phone with jegs and they have it in stock today so i'll see it sometime next week so we'll start getting that wrapped up this is why it's windy, I'm, see, these are working good. These are working good, the mic covers are working good. Uh, this is really why things take so long, especially you can try and plan out all this little stuff as much as you want in advance, and even I, uh, you know, ha hit snags and stuff like that, so you just gotta be patient with some of this stuff. Sometimes guys, it really, you know, if you let it get to you, it'll, it'll get the best of you. The other thing that I mentioned that we weren't using this blue hose, I actually had uh, a guy hit me up that wanted the blue hose, and you know, I don't want, I'm not gonna sell this stuff guys, but if you wanna send, you know, that 24 pack, 30 pack, whatever it was of those monster rehabs, hit me up on my Instagram, send me a DM. If you want this, I will trade you the monster for this hose and I'll ship it out to you guys as long as you guys are in the US. So uh, this one is spoken for. I actually have two more sets over there uh, from the air dogs for the 05. So if you want to do that, just let me know on my Instagram. That's what I'll do. If you guys want like uh, stock takeoffs before I, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll trade, I'll trade stuff in the PO box like monster and stuff for like stock takeoffs. Uh, if there's something you guys see that we're taking off and you want it, just let me know on my Instagram. All right guys, so what we're moved to now is messing with the first gen because we don't really have a uh, exact plan for today. We're just kind of doing whatever. Now, I have a steering shaft. I told you that the steering shaft on this thing is pretty much completely shot. So uh, tips and tricks to removing this steering shaft. Now, everything that I've read, uh, basically this lower part is held in here by this roll pin. And everybody kind of said that you're gonna have to fight with it quite a bit to get it out. Now, I must have been lucky seeing maybe this is a Southern truck, maybe it's a little bit easier, but really there's this pin, had this little orange safety thing in that I took out. Actually, I don't know what that orange thing is. I don't know, safety or plug or whatever, but took that out and then pretty much just drove this pin out. Now, 
what you really want to make sure is that your steering wheel is completely straight because now this should pretty much slide right off but you want to make sure your steering wheel is straight that way you're not going down the road with your steering wheel upside down so we're going to fasten that we're going to ratchet strap that uh make sure it stays straight while we're screwing with this so because greg can't focus or concentrate on anything today we are rapidly bouncing around the first gen and we have another drive pin that basically is in these little nuts here i don't know if you can see these bars have bushings in them and they tie into the front sway bar so i got all new bushings for these so we are actually going to maybe drop that down and change those bushings out um we'll see how far we get doing that Here is the new stuff. Just have to disconnect the rest of the sway bar stuff right here. Drop that part down, and uh, then we'll disconnect this this bar from the uh, lower control arm. And of course, old Greg here forgot to hit the record button because today is going so well. Um, got this bolt removed. Got that removed broke this bolt uh, because it just broke yeah go Friday oh and there's another broken bolt some of this hardware is obviously gonna have to be replaced no big deal yet again another reason why this is why we can never get anything done all right guys, got the other side disassembled. I think these were still good. I don't know why we're even changing them. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, so to continue the randomness of today, I don't even know where I left off. We got all the, the suspension stuff out actually started back on the eraser wheel but right now we are back on the steering shaft with my man ryan over there we got the steering wheel strapped but while he's loosening the bolts i'm actually just holding it just to make it a little more sturdy in there but this uh double jointed steering shaft is a little different so we'll go over that what you need to do to modify that if you're going to throw one of these on your first gen all right guys so the new shaft is in we pretty much have done everything except for loctite the uh allen set screws here we pretty much have lost all light so i'm going to try and recap the process here that way if you guys are going to do this now like i mentioned before this is actually the double jointed steering shaft not the rag joint borgeson steering shaft so basically what you have to do is i mentioned before how i knocked that pin out of the factory shaft here um, basically that will allow the factory shaft to come out there from there what we did is we got a little strappy strap here uh basically got the wheel straight locked that down and what i was doing was holding the wheel solid while ryan took the uh, factory where is she well I was trying to find the factory rag joint but basically the factory rag joint oh where is that oh here we go right on the end of the shaft Durr. so what I was doing is I was holding the steering wheel while Ryan was taking the bolts out of the rag joint uh, keeping everything centered so once that was out we then uh, proceeded in the instructions you basically have to cut this to length so basically you end up taking this part of the joint out removing that completely trimming it uh, basically flush with the end of the shaft with, while it's extended cut that put that back on on this one it actually in the instruction says to put this allen on the keyed part and then what you have to do is actually make 
going back and forth here a lot. You guys are probably dizzy by now. Uh, make your own flat on this side of the shaft. So that's what I did. Basically, key thing is to not move the tires, not move the steering box, not move the steering wheel. That way you're not a tooth off or so going down the road with the steering wheel all crooked. So basically that's where we're at, guys. We're going to undo the set screws, put some Loctite on those, tighten them down. Steering shaft is done. Oh, would you look at that? Pick, picked up a babe in the back of the truck. <laughs> I know you guys probably cannot see a damn thing, but I just want to say after the steering shaft install, this wheel, I mean, I know we're not on the road, we're not on the ground, but this wheel, just moving it back and forth feels so much tighter. It is like insanely tighter. Um, I still have some, you know, slop elsewhere, but man, that steering shaft really, really, really helped out. Of course, we have no light per usual, but look at that, look at that shiny thing in there. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, steering shaft done on the first gen. I know this kind of video kind of started out, you know, all over the place. I honestly was just, I came out here and I was like, I just need to do something. I didn't even know if I was gonna video today. I was like, maybe I should just take a day off. I had that meeting this afternoon, it went very, very well. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm so pumped. Like, I, I'm, I, we're getting closer to me letting you guys know, but I don't wanna keep saying that, but I came home and I just felt like, man, I, I don't even know what I should do. I didn't have a game plan. Usually when I'm at work, I'm thinking, okay, like, what am I gonna do today? What am I gonna video? Um, what can I get accomplished? I didn't really get a chance to do that throughout the day, so I kind of came home and was like, I don't know what to do right now. So I came out here, kind of started a couple of different random things. So, um, but I'm glad Ryan got a chance to get over here today, knocked out that steering shaft. He's coming back tomorrow, gonna knock out some more work on the first gen. Um, I talked to my man, Evan from Dunfab. Hopefully, beginning of next week, I'm gonna go down and get the wheels and tires mounted for uh, the 05 and old PAP scrap over here. We'll get those thrown on. Um, as I work through the work that we already have planned and parts that are sitting here, trying to get more stuff lined up, uh, killer dowel pin stuff needs to get done. Uh, I haven't really torn the whole front part of the first gen yet because seeing that we did a hydro boost, all new brakes, I really want to be able to start the truck up, pump the brakes with that running. Um, so I didn't really take everything apart in the front end just so I can still do that, accomplish that, get the brakes and the steering stuff checked off and then start going for, you know, killer dowel pin motor stuff, things like that. So um, trying to think if there's anything else I should mention here at the end of this video. You know what I do? I, I close these videos out, say goodbye to you guys. Oh, the blinds. I just read a comment about the blinds. I know, I need to get that one fixed. Also, the uh, light in the garage. I need more lighting in this garage to begin with, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I either, you know what it is, guys? I either uh, get other things done that I would not necessarily video, as like changing a light bulb, getting new blinds, um, taking care of some daily stuff, so I either get that done and don't video that day, uh, or I just get more truck stuff done in video. So I've been just trying to, eh, you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. I know I rambled there a little bit, but as always, hit that like button before you leave uh, tomorrow's video, more first gen stuff. I'll see you guys then.